Why hello there fellow escapers and welcome back to some Escape from Tarkov. Today we're looking at the latest shotgun added to the game which is the Remington 870. Now this looks pretty cool. You'll be able to buy this at level 2 skier for just over 26,000 rubles. I fitted mine with a scope. You can put a hammer on this or a bravo, it's up to you. But I put a hammer on it just because you can have double scope on it. But when it comes to the close quarter situations, what do you do? You need something a little bit more stubby. And this is the answer. Look at this beauty, man. This is just like the one in the trailer. I probably put a scope on it, but it looks a little bit more cool that way. Double flashlights on it for maximum blindness. And then you go in, you can clear those little corners. This is going to be particularly good for factory in places where you don't really have a lot of room. And every time you sort of go around any kind of objects, your gun sort of comes back onto you. So I think it's pretty cool to have something just like that little one where you can mod quite a lot to it. Now, the modding that you're going to be doing for this, you're not going to be doing any at Skia because Skia doesn't really have that many mods for this. Most of the mods you're going to be buying for this are going to be from the mechanic at level 2 and some of the good ones are even at level 3, so you need to get to level 30. So let's take a closer look at this on paper. Ergonomics uh, 43.6 for the 133. You also have a 0 0.25 base accuracy, sighting range is the same. Recoil, it's a little bit more recoil for the old shotguns and muzzle velocity is the same. So really not that much of a difference when it comes to the stats, but you can mod the hell out of the 870. So let's take this into the factory and see how we do. I believe... running up here oh just lining up granada oh, shit granada do one more i know he's behind that corner oh he dead i i heard him Ugh. he dead it's uh, one of them Swifty boys, I'm sure. I didn't get a glimpse of him. I think there was two or three of them here, at least. There he is, Swifty boy. There's a lot of these Swifty boys out here now, man. You gotta be careful. You know, that, that, that axe just seems to be extra sharp. And since people have been doing that sort of glitch with the jumping corners on shoreline with buckshot and all that, it's just... It's straight up cancer, let's just say that. Because you're just running around with the sort of lag and the desync and all that sort of happens. By the time you put two bullets into him, he's somewhere else. Buried, burying your hatchet in your head. So, yeah. They need to do something about that. Pronto. Shut up, fool. I'm recording a video. Violence, I guess. Hey, the scav on scav violence never, never a good idea, man. Don't shoot your fellow scavs. Treat them like your friends. Your own personal aimbot army, man. I mean, the scavs are just really that good nowadays. So why would you, why would you kill a fellow scav when you can just have a, a couple of aimbotters on your team? Aye, that was beautiful, that was. Tell you what, it's not bad, this shotgun. Let's see what he's got in the bag. Thank God for that drink. Alright, that's enough of that. Suka. Ooh, that freeze. Ooh, that freeze. Need to go soon, yeah. Oh, I ran away. Come on. Let's do this, man. There we go. We got it. I think I need to go and collect some loot and start heading out because it's getting to that point that I got the I got the zombie cancer, so I need to go. Come on, heal. Oops, somebody's coming. 
Steady. Aye! That was beautiful, that was. Right, time to go because the zombie cancer is going to take hold of me, so. Let's just get some loot and start heading out because I'm not going to last very long because there's no more drinks around, so. Yeah. <laughs>